Hi guys, my name's Greg, and today I'm reviewing the Samsung 4K 55-inch Smart TV. Uh, it's the UE55KU6020 model. AO kindly sent this to me to review for you guys, and I must say I'm incredibly impressed. Right from the start, the delivery was at about 7.30 in the morning, as I had requested. Um, they texted me the night before, they turned up on time, they were really helpful in bringing it in and everything, and I couldn't, couldn't give them a high enough review for that. The TV itself is great. The quality on it is so much better than any TV I've ever owned. Prior to this TV, I had the Goodman's 55-inch 4K Smart TV. However, this TV has just blown that one out of the water. The smart services are incredible, and it's just extremely quick. For instance, look how quickly it turns on and off. That's off. And it's on. It's really quick and nippy. It uh, keeps the place where you were last. So as you can see, we were in YouTube last, and it's there now. Now, if you follow the little bar at the bottom of the screen, you'll see the different smart apps I've got installed. Now, I've only had this TV for just under a week, um, but I'm really impressed with all the different apps that it's got built into it. Um, I spend a lot of time on YouTube, obviously. Um, now, let's show you uh, Netflix. So one of the things I like most about this TV is that it's got Netflix 4K natively installed on it. So if you look, we can go down to Ultra 4K Programming and we can scroll through what's available on Netflix in 4K. And I really have noticed the difference with this TV. I've had a 4K TV prior to this and to be honest, I couldn't really notice too much of a difference on Full HD, but on this TV, I really can notice the difference. So you can just move from show to show or app to app down at the bottom here. Let's go into uh, Amazon, for instance. Now, we could even go up and choose one of those programs there before we click in. So we go from watching one program right through to watching the next program. So this is the Amazon app. Uh, I really recommend Amazon Prime if you're not already a member, but uh, you go into here straight from the app store on the TV. I've got it saved to my homepage. And um, let's just show you a show on here quickly so you can see what it's like. I watched this episode the other day and it was absolutely phenomenal. I can't even describe to you how good the quality of this shot is. You can see the deep colours on everybody, you can see the different skin shades in their skin tone, you know, between all the different skin tones. You can see the different shades on, on the jeans, you can see the definition in the mountains in the background there. It's just absolutely phenomenal. So what the TV's doing is it's taking a 4K resolution program that's being streamed by Amazon and it's upscaling that to high dynamic range HDR. Now HDR shows I think a million times more color than a standard TV or standard 4K feed shows. So it's like a, a parallel technology to 4K and it is gorgeous. This program that I'm streaming through Amazon is not HDR, but the TV itself is actually upscaling it into HDR. So just have a brief look at some of the uh, colors here. Now, I can't show too much of that because otherwise I'm going to start to uh, infringe on their copyright, but that is incredible. So, Netflix and Amazon are my two favourite apps on here, but you've also got something called PlayStation Now, which if you hook up a DualShock 4 remote control from PlayStation onto it, and you sign up for an account, you can stream PlayStation games directly to your TV without the need for a console. That is absolutely awesome, and I can't wait to try that out. YouTube is available on here, and it's just like uh, all other appliances that have YouTube built into them. It works really well on this TV, and one thing I love is that from the Samsung Smart, uh, Smart TV app on your phone, you can actually launch YouTube, you can do a whole bunch of things um, from anywhere. You've got the My5, which is uh, another streaming service for Channel 5. You've got ITV Hub, which is your ITV shows. BBC iPlayer, which works really well on here. You've got Bloomberg News. 
BBC News, Pluto TV, which uh, I don't really know what it is, but it shows you American shows, uh, I think over YouTube, which is really cool, and uh, a whole bunch of other things. So, um, you know, you can have a look through the App Store, and uh, by just going onto the App Store down here, and you can see all the different apps they've got. Um, I've installed all the ones that I think I like, and I, I think they've got a great selection. I'm actually looking forward to seeing if they release any new ones in the coming months. So this is the BBC News app, uh, where you can scroll through all the different stories of the day, which is quite nice. Now, if you um, want to change to another app from here, it's really simple to do. You just hit the little home button on the remote control, scroll over to what you want, and there we go. So, the sources are represented in a really visual way, which I like. So we've got HDMI 1, which is my Xbox, which is quite nice. We can then go from here and uh, play any games we want to. I generally used to use my Xbox for things like Netflix and Amazon, uh, but now, because they're built into the TV and they work so well on the TV, I don't bother. I just go straight through the TV and I use everything on there. Gaming on this Samsung Smart TV is really, really good. I found it to be really responsive and really quick. Now, I'm no expert when it comes to those things. I know that I can set it up online to get the absolute maximum refresh rate. Now, I haven't done any of that yet, but I still have found that the gaming is really, really good. Now, I haven't actually got a um, TV aerial in my house. I've lived here about three years and I've never needed it. I use all my smart apps and I watch catch-up TV and uh, Netflix and Amazon and things like that. Uh, but this TV uh, does have a built-in Freeview tuner. Uh, I believe it's Freeview HD. I can't review that for you though because I don't actually know how it works, but I assume that it works as great as everything else with this TV. The settings of the TV can be really modified to suit exactly what you need it to suit. So I've set these up a little bit using the um, screen calibration uh, application on my Xbox One S, where it helps you make sure that your screen is set up really well for gaming. Um, so I went through all these different settings, but um, what I really like is how much it gives you access to. So you see, these are, these are quite basic things that most TVs will let you have access to. But the, in here you've got uh, a lot of extra bits that, that other TVs don't allow you to have. So for instance here you've got Auto Motion Plus, which is their special upscaling of the um, frames per second. So if you're watching a movie that's shot in 23 frames per second, for instance, and um, the TV itself can handle 60 frames per second, it will actually fill in the gaps between the 23 frames to make it appear as though there's 60 frames. Some people love this, I personally do. Um, some people hate it and say it makes them feel like they're watching a soap opera because everything looks really realistic, like it's really happening in front of you. But I don't honestly see how that's a bad thing. Anyway, some people, it puts them off. There are so many different options in here that I can't go through all of them, but it, it just really is a great TV for how much it lets you uh, calibrate and modify. Um, so if you get this TV, definitely have a look through there. Now, I've, uh, I've only just bought my uh, sound uh, optical cable for my sound to go to my sound bar, so um, I haven't plugged that in yet, and I've been using the standard sound that comes out of the TV, and it has been really, really good. Uh, the sound quality from the, such a thin and flat TV is just amazing. All TVs I've had in the past have always crackled and had no bass. This TV is just really, really beautiful with its sound. So I've, I've got my soundbar. I'm probably going to use that along with it uh, just to get a really bassy and, uh, you know, really fill the room with sound. But uh, if you don't have a soundbar or you don't want a soundbar, there's absolutely no need to have one with a TV like this. It's brilliant. Um, I haven't used any of these features yet. But um, there's, report, there's request support and remote management, which makes me feel really comfortable knowing that, you know, if you needed to, you could probably get Samsung to actually log into your TV and, and fix things for you, which is pretty fantastic. But thankfully, I haven't needed to use that. My top five features of this TV are how quick and smooth everything is on it, how user-friendly it is, how good-looking it is, the picture quality, and the sound quality. These five things, to me, are the most important things in a television, and this TV, within its budget range, comes in tops on all of them for me. 
The applications on it are really good. The only application I found to be missing is the four on demand, uh, you know, for channel four. And, um, and it just doesn't seem to be on here, which is a shame. It would have been nice to have that on here, but I can get that through my uh, Xbox and, you know, I, I don't have a problem with not having it on here. It's just a, a bit of a shame. Um, on the other downsides, I really don't have any. Um, at first, I was a bit disappointed when I saw the remote control, but uh, you know, I thought it looked a bit cheap and it felt a bit cheap. But to be honest with you, after using it, I love it. It's actually really user friendly. It's got nice big buttons on it that are easy to use and it feels really comfortable in your hand. The application that comes on the smartphone, I've got an Android and the application uh, that is on the Play Store for this TV, it just works like a charm. Another thing I like is that you can cast pictures to it. So for instance, if I look up some photos that I've taken recently, I took some photos of the box of the TV. If I click on this, that's just come straight from my phone now. So that's my review of this TV. It's really quick. It's really good looking. It works really well. It's very user friendly. The apps are great on it. You know, Netflix in 4K, Amazon TV in 4K, BBC iPlayer, Channel 5 On Demand, ITV On Demand. The only thing it's lacking on the On Demand and the app side of things, in my opinion, is the 4 On Demand, which is missing, unfortunately. But thank goodness it's got everything else. Um, I really like this TV. I highly recommend you get it. Uh, I, I'm so glad that I've got this TV. And um, there, there really are very few downsides to it. Uh, in this sort of price bracket, it's the best I think you can get. And I highly recommend it.